All right. Baraka Dayahawa. Baraka Dayahawa Shai. 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 Call Halayam Yahawa. Bashim Yahawa Shai. Bashim Achakodas. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Honors and salutations to all sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, laboring in honesty, sincerity, charity, and sound doctrine. Which the only brothers that are going to be doing that is the elect of Yasharal of Israel. And to the Akwathim and the children that believe on the true names of the Father and the Son. Which the Father's name is Yahweh, he exists. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai, he is the deliverer. Alright, because he's going to deliver us out of this captivity that we're in very soon. You know. My name is Mark Allah Ben Gad Ben Yashar Allah. I'm with the Watchman Philadelphia camp here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Alright. And um basically I want to do this uh little sit down on um the book of uh, Jeremiah. <laughs> Uh, the seventh chapter. I'm gonna just read it straight though, cause uh, that's when Jeremiah snapped on uh, you know, he snapped on the like he snapped he snapped on the two thirds, you know, the two thirds of Yasharala. going off you know he snapped on the two thirds of Yasharal for going off and what two thirds are going off to this day you know and it says in, and matter of fact it says in the seventh chapter pray not for those people man you know anyway I'm out right into it this is Jeremiah chapter 7 and 1. It says the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua saying, Stand in the gate of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, all ye of Judah, that enter in at, the, at these gates to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. So what you supposed to be doing? Praising Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's name, man. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to read that again. This is Jeremiah chapter 7 and 2. It says, Stand in the gate of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear, hear, Shammai, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, all ye, all ye of Judah that enter in at the gates to worship Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushua host the power of Israel. Amend your ways and your doings. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. Alright. So let's get that word amend. Alright. To, to be good. Be pleasing. Be well. Be glad. To be glad. Be joyful. To be well placed, to be well for, be well with, go well with, to be pleasing, be pleasing to. So we're supposed to be pleasing to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. All right? And not disobeying his law, statutes, and commandments, what he has placed for us. You know? We're not supposed to do that all right it says to make glad rejoice to do good to to, to do good to deal well with so like uh, to do well with do thoroughly to make a good thing to make a thing good there you go to make a thing good or right or beautiful to do well do right so to make a thing good or right 
or beautiful. So we supposed to make all things right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Why? Because we turned our back on him. You know, we turned our back on our creator. But hey, let's get into it, man. Because this is a heavy, this is a heavy, heavy, heavy chapter right here. You know, because it's concerning how our people just shitted on y'all by some y'all side, man. You know, and it tells you his mercy endures forever. You know, that's how merciful our power is, man. Our father, our Benawah, Yahweh. All right. It says, trust ye not in lying words, saying, the temple of Yahweh by some y'all side. The temple of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah, the temple of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah are these, because you will have dudes that come, man, and um, and and try to uh, uh, twist you up, man. They come and try to twist you up, and tell you, oh, well, Yahweh said this, Yahweh said that. You know, this is what you're supposed to do in Yahweh's name. Niggas like that, you, you, man, you better flee from them dudes, man. Because they wicked as hell, man. You know? They wicked as hell. And guess what they going to do? They going to jack you up, man. Alright? They going to jack you up. And have what? Your, uh... Matter of fact, it's, they, they going to have you in violation. If you keep listening to that bullshit, just like the scriptures say, the blind lead if the blind, man. If the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. All right? So, uh, verse 5 says, For if, if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye op oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to, to your hurt. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. You know? So that's why the hell we not in a good condition, we're not in a good state, we're not in good standings with Yahweh bossing outside right now as a nation. You know, even the elect, man, the, the elect struggle. Wow, for one, this flesh. You know, for one, this flesh. That's top, top, top thing, man, this flesh. You know, and we we trying to get back, Lord's willing, I'll be one of those men. We trying to get back to to our, 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 our rulership. But how we have to do that to amend Make everything right with who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and how you do that, following the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. You know, completing your path, being that perfect man. You know, that's the only way. Not not following after other different gods, and thinking you could do whatever you big and bad enough to do. As my grandma used to say, you're getting too big for your britches, you know? Huh. Anyway, it says, Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. And, yo, that's one of the main things that our people do, man. They trust in lying words that cannot profit. And what's, the, what's, what's one of the main things that our people trust in? They trust in that bullshit-ass prosperity doctrine, man. That these pastors have to offer. And that they teach. You know. They teach a bunch of bullshit. Our people trust in Islam. You know. They trust in all different type of false. Idols. Gods and all that man. I'm going to read that again. Behold ye trust in lying words. That cannot profit. So the only words you supposed to trust in, like the scripture says, says, let the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh be true, and every man found a liar, man. Not vice versa, man. You don't you don't trust in men's words, man. 
if they're not coming out these scriptures and they're coming out their own mind and whatever they say when they come out, come out with and there's no proof of it, they full of shit. It's that simple, man. You know, it's that simple. It says, will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal? And walk after another, Salak, and walk after other gods whom ye, whom ye know not. And that's what our people do. We kill each other, commit adultery. Basically, we're trying to be like Esau, the so-called white man. Because that's what he's into. That's, that's being a beast, a brute beast, man. The law, statutes, and commandments give you that life so you don't have to live like a beast, man. You know? But our people, and, and niggas said, yo, I'm a beast. Yo, I'm a beast. Yeah, you damn right you are, because you don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. And you're going to see where that beast gets your ass. Destroyed, man. I'm going to read that again, verse 9. It says, will you still murder and commit adultery, what our people do, and swear falsely? And a lot of niggas do that. Yo, I swear to God. On a complete lie, man. I put that on my kids. I put it on my life. And it'd be a fucking complete lie, man. Will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom ye know not? And one of the major ones here in Philadelphia. I'm going to give you two of them. The first one is Jesus Christ. That's a fucking fake, false, false God, man. And the other one is Allah, man. That's a fucking false God, man. That we that we don't know. Our forefathers ain't know no goddamn Allah. I know Jesus. Verse 10 says, And come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are delivered to do all these abominations. In this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes. Behold, even I seen it. Say if you're about some outside. And you know, our people rob each other on a, on a, on a daily, especially these uh, religious leaders, man. Passing a goddamn, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, not communion, the offering plate around a hundred times damn near for all these different funds, robbing the people, man, you know, because it's all about money to these people, man, it ain't about the truth, and even Yahweh Shah experienced that when he, when he, uh, when he walked the earth. And it was around the Passover time when he uh, 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 beat the, um, what was it? He, he beat the people in the, in the temple. He said that they turned his father's house into a, a den of thieves, man. Robbers. All right. It says, is this, is this, Salak, so like verse 11 says, is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it. Save your house, outside. But go ye now unto my place, which is, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and and see what I did to it for the wickedness of people of my people Israel. So damn, <laughs> yo. Now you gotta see what y'all by Simi outside did to these certain places that uh um that we dwelled in and we went off. He destroyed them, man. And America is the next the the final place to get fucking jacked up and completely destroyed. Alright? Why? Because of the wickedness and we reading it right here. It says uh and now because ye have done 
all these works, saith Yahweh Shah, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not, and I called I called you, but ye answered not. So how does the Lord do that? How does Yahweh Shah call the the people as he always been doing? Through his prophets. The men that the, the men that go out here on the highways and byways, the highways and hedges, week in and week out doing videos, you know, laboring, you know, so, and when you don't answer, that means you turn the deaf ear to the words that are being said, all right, I'm going to read that again, that's a heavy script, uh, verse, uh, Jeremiah, still in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7 and 13, it says, and now because ye have done all these works, saith Yahweh Simeon outside, and I spake unto you, rising up early, and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called, but ye answered not. It says, Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, which is talking about Yasharala, wherein ye trust, and, and unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shalom. Alright, so let's get Shalom. Shalom is a place of rest. All right, a city in Ephraim and temporary home of the Ark of the Covenant and the tabernacle, the place where Samuel grew up. All right, damn. So Samuel was what? Samuel was a prophet, man, and a hell of a prophet at that. All right, and he, he prophesied against the two thirds and a bunch of wickedness, man. You know, so this thing goes full circle. You had two thirds back then, you got two thirds now. People that don't believe the words that come out these scriptures, man, was these words of life. All right, these words of life. It says, Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place. Which which I which I gave to you and to your fathers as I have done to Shiloh, and I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. <laughs> I'm gonna read that again. It says, and I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all your brethren. Even the whole seed of Ephraim, man. So, hey, man, y'all by some y'all side created this. But, yo, you, 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 uh, turn your back on him. He gonna turn his back on you. So it will behoove you to follow what? The law, statutes, and commandments. Once you turn back to him, man. You know? Once you turn back to him. It ain't no lack of days equal half ass in this thing man if you want fire you hot or you cold it ain't no lukewarm it's like getting into some fucking uh water that's lukewarm that shit don't even feel right but if you get into some hot water you like ah, like taking a shower you get into some cold water that shit is burr but that lukewarm shit Nah, man. You know? That lukewarm shit is... The, the Lord said he's going to spew you out of his mouth, man. For being lukewarm. Alright? Verse 16 says, Therefore pray not thou for this people. Here we go. It says, Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry nor a prayer, for them neither make an accession to me, for I will not hear thee, man. So Yahweh by Simi Shah is not going to hear you if you try to pray for these niggas that's all like that really don't care, man. A nigga that that's just a lost cause, and you could tell that. All he want to do smoke weed, fuck women, pop pills, drink liquor all day, commit adultery all day, you know. Why the hell eat pork, 
crab, shrimp, lobster, you know? That's a two-third ass nigga to the third power. So why would you pray for a nigga like that? The Lord said he ain't going to want her. I'm going to read it again. This is Jeremiah chapter 7 and 16. It says, Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make an accession to me, for I will not hear thee. Self-explanatory. Verse 17. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. So you, you can see. It's like you it's like you we not blind. So he says, See is not see is thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? So you're like, damn, you don't see what these people doing? How wicked they are? It says the children gather wood here we go. The children gather wood and fathers, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may that they may provoke me to anger. And yo, that's like that uh, entertainment industry, man. You know? They make a lot of sacrifices. Alright, and they worship what? That that queen of heaven vibe, man. Oh, the woman is God and this that's yo, matter of fact, Columbia. Alright. That's that's a a, a a a goddess. I remember I did a lesson on it a while ago, but Columbia, when you say the district of Columbia, Columbia is an ancient goddess. I believe it's a Greek goddess. And that and that Manifest Destiny Columbia was supposed to lead these niggas across uh, um, America, you know? So, that's that Queen of Heaven worship. And that's the whole vibe that's on America, man. These men want to follow after the woman, man. Not the woman following after the man. All right? It says, the children gather, gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire, and the woman need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger, saith Yahweh Shimei Shah? Do they not provoke themselves to, to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore does saith Yahweh Shimei Shah power, Behold mine anger and my fury, shall be poured out upon this place, upon men, and upon beasts, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and shall not be quenched. So, hey, <laughs> yo, man, how about some y'all shots of cold dude, man, when you go up against him, you know? That's like, yo, just imagine... On, on a level like you got a dude that you know in the streets and and uh you know if you crossing it's about your ass and he gonna do whatever he gotta do to you your family your children he don't got no chill no pause he ain't never chilling when it comes to you disrespecting him and that's just a man's anger so just imagine your how about shimmy how shy anger for you disrespecting him which our people do every day, but they would never disrespect these so-called gangster niggas in the street. They would never disrespect Esau. And Esau's a fucking pussy. Alright? Esau's a fucking bitch. But you niggas respect Esau more than Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the one that created your ass and created Esau's ass. So when he when, when that fire come and that hammer come down, watch. I'm gonna read it. It says, "Thus saith Yahweh by some of of hosts, the power of Israel, put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of."